still in a hotel. You're supposed to be home by now, it's Friday. Well, funny you should ask. Set that there as we walk around. Why don't you just put the camera on a tripod? Because I don't have one. Okay, so it's, yeah, well after midnight and I'm supposed to have been home. Yeah, spending time with my son. No, that's not gonna happen. You know why, you know why? Because weather, weather, I'm pretty sure it's global warming. Um, that's a different video, we'll do that later. But, plane takes off like over two hours late, way over two hours late. The reason that it does that is because I'm leaving Corpus Christi, Texas. I'm trying to get to back home to Missouri and it turns out, no, no, you can't leave because there's rain in Houston. Apparently a amount of rain and as a result, I'm stuck there for two and a half hours, find myself dining and having beers with about eight or ten people that I've never met before, but we're all in the same predicament, right? None of us can go home or to the baseball game or to that next event or whatever the heck. So we all get on the plane together and then the plane is further delayed and then uh, wind up getting to uh, uh, the airport in Houston in time to wave bye-bye to my plane that's going to Springfield. And I'm like, mother So that isn't gonna work. And now I'm out of clean clothes for the week because I wore them all during the week. So, son of a bitch. All right, uh, book a hotel, go outside to find a taxi, and it's like a barren wasteland. So I call one, two, three, bunch of taxis, and everybody's going, nope, we don't dispatch, we don't dis. What taxi company doesn't dispatch? Oh, the kind that are in Houston that they don't dispatch to the airport unless you have uh, rented uh, a limousine or a big car, a van, or something like that. So they tell me, well, I know that you're on this side of the airport. Th this girl, she was actually pretty kind in spite of my freaking attitude. You have to go way over to that side of the airport. Um, and there you'll find some taxis. And sure enough, there were some taxis. And this little dude, uh, he's from a place called Eritrea. I'm going to have to look that up because truly, I. where's Eritrea? Who knows? I'll give you a dollar if you know where Eritrea is. At any rate, uh... He hands me his phone and he goes, well, you can type in the address of where we're going in, in his broken English. In my, I won't even call it broken retrium. I was just using hand gestures and stuff going that way. And his phone is all in a Cyrillic alphabet. I don't understand that language that the aliens used in the pyramids. So eventually we communicated where we're going. I get to the hotel. Hey, there's half my freaking plane waiting to check into the hotel. So if I see these at breakfast tomorrow I'm gonna suggest we start a Facebook group and eventually I will get home but this is all part of the life this is all part of the adventures um, you're gonna have delays that's just a fact anyway end of rant um, a couple new videos coming out within the next couple of weeks from uh, Hollywood if I could get the damn things transferred from the camera to the uh, to the uh, that other thing that I do the editing on the computer yeah, if I could get that done, that'd be great. Having issues there all of a sudden wasn't an issue. Now it is. Uh, we'll have one on Corpus. We'll have one on Hollywood coming up shortly. But I didn't want to leave you hanging for the week because I know you just can't live without these, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what? No, don't judge me. Come on. <laughs>